all right so welcome again to military guna tv thank you very much for joining me again so as you know this morning i did a stream regards to um Ronaldo cephas getting um his first international call up now we have a few more players who are on the list that i have right here of six players um for the we have a few for the under 20 as well i'll be getting into that and we have um for the reggae boys team so these players this list has to do with the national teams that will be playing against the quali will be played in the qualifiers that are coming up i already discussed in length and details about these qualifiers and the importance of these qualifiers and what we can do big up again ayas abde and what we can do about these qualifiers i already discussed it as i said earlier so i won't get into any more elongated details surround these players this definitely won't be a long one as well because i do have another stream um to go um to do with a fellow uh, another fellow streamer so I, I as i said i won't i won't do that one long i'm trying to see if i can sort out the okay my bad <clears throat> so i am uh, just give me a second people i will be giving you guys giving you the list of names that are that i have um there's also a few already i know that there's a few already um michael garden said okay military gonna come good this time <laughs> King Terry said, me feel like um, Mills deserve this. All right, so these are the names um, I think most of you would already know. Um, we discussed um, Ronaldo Cephas this morning. We also discussed um, the Denardo Thomas from Waterhouse. We discussed Ramon Howell from Waterhouse. We also discussed Ricardo Thomas. So that's three players from Waterhouse. So three players from Waterhouse. Two more added on to the reggae boy squad from Mount Pleasant in Devante Campbell and Daniel Green. So these are the four players that I would actually officially announce in this video. Last time I was only discussed them because the news just dropped at that time. But this time around we were officially announcing these players are officially called for the reggae boy squad for the rest of the qualifiers. We already discussed... Um, the importance of the importance of the squad the qualifiers and i'm going to drop a video later regards to leon bailey and michael antonio and that i need to get a lot of information on but i'm going to drop that video a little teaser <laughs> a little teaser but so these are the five, six players let me see one two three four five six so these are the six players confirm um the six players confirm for the reggae boys qualifiers and we want to see how what i do know is that there are more to come there are more to come this is not just right here there are a few more to come i do think that there's a few more additions to add on to this maybe another four um and basically the, contin the local contingency might be might be um half the percentage of the squad we might see a 23 man squad or a 24 man squad and the local contingency might be um 13 um 10 11 in that region then now the european or the overseas contingency might be um the, the the rest big up fresh god yes i do believe that daniel green does deserve this call up i honestly believe that he does now for the reggae boys under 20 reggae boys we have gary mills and tajay anderson gary mills and tajay anderson are the two for the honor 20 gear mills is a good hopefully i'm not getting it wrong please correct me please correct me if i'm wrong um king tari said think king in the squad richard king i i there's a possibility there's a strong possibility that because if he got the last call up why not and he looks really really good he looked really good when he when he, when he came up the last time out it's funny enough remember people are saying that um <laughs> So much people are saying that uh, the local players are not good, but everyone is speaking so highly of King. That's so strange. That's so strange. And where does King play? Where does King apply his trade? Locally. So what I do know is that, that this, this is the world of football. Talent is everywhere. That is the reason most clubs, no, you don't find clubs just 
going into England and taking players from the low. They, you don't really find that again. They're going into some second tiers and some third tier division to get um, supernatural talents. Um, look at most of the most of the best set of players. Them, they they are they're from some clubs in the, some third tier division. That's what they get from Jamie Vardy. Didn't play professional football until he's twenty seven. He was playing in some um, non league. Angola Kante was playing in non-league. So that is football, people. So we have to be mindful in how we think and we have to be objective in how we think as well. Don't really program our minds one particular way. Um, but I do think that you it's normally best when you have players, especially at this stage of any um, um, competition, to have players who are already embedded in a particular system moving forward. Now, this now confirms that there will be disruption, 100% disruption in the continuity of the program from the World Cup qualifiers. This 100% confirmed that now because this is already six players. This is six players already introduced to the first team. Six players introduced to the first team um, that weren't a part of the World Cup qualifiers campaign. Um, I think Thomas got, uh, was it Thomas who got, no, I think Thomas played in, in, in a friendly, but none of them, these are, none of these players were in the World Cup qualifiers campaign. So in the issue of continuity in which we always talk about, not only here, but most other vloggers speak about continuity and building on team chemistry and cohesiveness. I am 100% sure that you won't see that. You can't get that when you, you chop and change everything. So it's another series of chop and change that we will be experiencing um that's what i'm seeing from my end of things but we will see how the under 20 boys um kick on i do think i'm, I'm wondering if this is the mills that plays for dintel if it's the mills that play for dintel this young man confirm for me fresh god if this is the mills um is the fresh god um who said it? someone saying someone said i think someone said earlier okay king king Tyrus, confirm for me if this is the mills that plays for um dintel good yes king um king Tyrus. yes he is a very very good um target man number nine he's a really really good number nine target man physique technical ability really good and i do think that he has something special I 100% believe that he has something special and he can contribute something special in what we want to do. So, nonetheless, I won't go any further as soon as I get more updates, people. So keep the updates coming in. As soon as I get more updates, I will definitely drop them. I won't go any further. Uh, Michael Gardner said, is this the Mills training at Arnett? No, he's very, very good. Um, I think this is the Mills that he's playing for. He's at um, Mount Pleasant. He's at Mount Pleasant. Um, Coach is ex, big up Coach is ex, thanks for coming in. Um, Coach said, um, one call up now go build chemistry. It has to be over a period of time with camps, etc. No, what I'm what I'm saying, um, yeah, I, yeah, that is true. That is true. What what I'm what I was alluding to, Coach, was that in the last three four games for in the World Cup qualifiers, say last three games, we you can see that level of consistency building and continuity building, and I was most people would have, would agree that. It would be better if we have that same team with a few more additions, just a few more, if players um, drop out, to continue the rest of the campaign and project that same team into the Nation League. Owing to the fact that they would actually have that level of understanding in what the coach wants, um, that level of cohesiveness, that chemistry, and they would have that, that bond um, in going forward. Um, that, that's that's that, that's that's what I'm coming from. That's where I'm coming from. I think I for me I can be wrong. Still no coach. You can correct me if I'm wrong. For me, I just think that it would be better if we do that rather than chop and change. No, for the set of three games. Then again, when Nation League come across, we still a try scramble a chop and change. So there's no level of continuity. There's no level of chemistry. There's no level of cohesiveness going forward because we keep on changing the team. So this the starting eleven that played the last last game that we had so much possession. What if we keep maintain that starting level and try our best to 
progress with that starting eleven. Remember now, many of these players will will not be able to play the 2026 World Cup, you know. But what can happen from that team is based up their that team would be at this level. Anyone else would come into the team would supplement it. Sorry, would supplement the team. Would just supplement the team. And basically the team would, would, would just rise. So for example, a Mikel Antonio. In the event Mikel Antonio is here, right? We know that 2026, Shaman Nicholson is more than likely the person who's going to be leading the line unless you have someone else who break out of the blocks and start in, and start and just start in doing a madness. But at this moment, the projectile is for Shaman Nicholson to be leading the line. In the event, Shaman Nicholson still is learning under Mikel Antonio, um, mastering his trade and reach at a particular level where he, where he can say, okay, you're now at that level, at that Mikel Antonio level where you can do it by yourself. You can do it by yourself because we have to remember that Shaman Nicholson is young and the next World Cup qualifiers, by then, he'll be fully mature and in, in the peak of his form and the peak of, of a striker's career. Then now, a Richard King understudying under a Ethan Pinnock are playing alongside a Ethan Pinnock and uh, on uh, years going forward um, Richard King would be the one leading the line because he had made he, because he's so young and so good so talented he probably super um, um surpassed um, Ethan Pinnock in a few years time period the quality so the quality consistently improving and that is where the continuity would would, would actually come in play where there's persons filling in, in, in a bracket for the next person so that 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 is the concept that i that i'm that i'm working about working around so there's no continuity now when you throw in five six seven eight nine ten players in the squad now from the last team you break you break that, that chemistry you break that momentum and then it becomes difficult it becomes difficult because when we play we're going to look disjointed again and then people are going to say this team needed to play more games together in which we already have a had a team that was playing the entirety of the, the World Cup qualifiers campaign and they could have kept that team and then no, we won't hear the issues of the team looking disjointed because they haven't played enough game together or the coach haven't had enough time with them together so that is the, it's a, that is the area of continuity that I was speaking about but people, um, these, are the, these are the necessary um, the, the, the details I want to drop I definitely won't go any further I'm after, I have a, 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 another video to go on to soon so i'll see you guys again so big up again coach for coming in king tyrese fresh god um michael garden the dintel kid trains at arnett and he will be signed this week and should be in the under 20s really that means he's not him you're yeah, sure um mickey uh, Mick garden unless there's a unless there's another mills unless there's another mills but i can i can be wrong so so um inbox me and on 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 um or on my Instagram and let, let me see if I can, I, I, I can get to um, rectify it but I can be wrong if I'm wrong I will definitely tell that um, I'm wrong but I, I, I do believe that because Mount Pleasant do have a lot of the players that play for Dintel most of the players that play for Dintel are, are at Mount Pleasant the keeper um, some of the defenders um, from what I from my knowledge though but anyways people um, thank you very much again for tuning in um, a lot of respect Thank you guys um, and see you guys again until next time um military guna tv people we are out boom